are in group 2, the electronic configuration will be S2. When you are in 13, it will be P1. 14, P2, 15, P3, 16, P4, 17, P5, and 18, P6. Take it. And okay. the number, the number before the S and the P will always be equals to the period number. So, if I tell you that I want to write the electronic configuration of the seventh period group one. Okay, I have to write the electronic okay. configuration of who? Uh, seventy eight one. So it will be seven S one. But what will come before that? We have a helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. That is period number one, period number two, period number three, four, five, six. So what will I write is that the electronic configuration of this one is RN7S1. Okay? Okay. Now... If I have to write the electronic configuration of third period, 14th group. Okay. Now, you can see that 14 is a P2. 14 is a? P2. And third period means 3. It will be what? 3 P2. But before that, what are we going to write? Before this, we are going to write what will come out here? The 3S will come. And before that, the noble gas, the noble gas that is ending, that is neon. So when you look at the electronic configuration, you can easily tell me the position of the element. If I tell you there is a 2P4, what will be the position of this element? Uh, 2P4. Yeah. So it will be... I don't know. Okay, you told me the... Yeah, you told me the answer. It is period number 2 and group number 16 and that is nothing but our oxygen shabash so you see that if you know the electronic configuration or if you know the position of the element you can write the electronic configuration okay okay now how do most of the teachers teach to write electronic configuration is 1s is filled first, then 2s, then 2p, then 3s, then 3p, then 4s, then 3d, and then 4p. In your book, it is given only till here. So we will do only till here. Now, the number of elements that will come out here is 2 plus 2. 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, and 6. Okay? So these are the elements that are going to come till 4P. Any doubt here? Mm, no doubt. Okay. Now... You will have to help me out with the names of the elements from 1 till the end. We have a hydrogen, then we have a helium, then we have lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. Then... 
सोडियम आई सोडियम मैग्नीशियम एल्युमिनियम सिलिकन फास्फोरस सल्फर क्लोरीन आर्गन देन लिथियम सोडियम पोटेशियम कैल्शियम स्कैंडियम टाइटेनियम वेनेडियम क्रोमियम मैंगनीज आयरन कोबल्ट निकल एंड देन जिंक एंड कॉपर इफ आई एम नॉट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एट नाइन जिंक कॉपर चेक यस एंड देन गैलियम जमेनियम बिलो फॉस्फरस वट डू वी हैव टिन nitrogen phosphorus the phosphorus we have arsenic arsenic selenium bromine helium neon argon krypton theek hai these are the elements that you need to know how to write the electronic configuration of according to your book now let me write down group number 1 group number 2 group number 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 then we have a 13 14 15 16 17 18 one will come here okay now period number 1 period number 2 period number 3 period number 4 is it matching with your periodic table yes it is now so if i'm filling it okay look at this we are filling it according to the series that we have written out here we start filling with 1s 1s1 s can have two electrons 1s2 so despite helium having a 1s2 it is not kept in the s block but it is kept in group 18 that is the p block an exception because it is a noble gas okay now when we come to lithium it becomes a 2s1 beryllium a 2s2 boron will become a 3p1 carbon 3p2 nitrogen 3p3 oxygen 3p4 fluorine 3p5 neon 3p6 check if you have uh, the electronic configuration according to this in the periodic table is it matching yes it matches now this will be a 3s1 3s2 and then again it goes to p 3p1 3p2 3p3 3p4 3p5 3p6 okay so we are completed okay. we are true with just see we are following the series we filled 1s then we filled 2s then we filled 2p i ah, i made a mistake this all will be 2 because they are all in period number 2 they are all in period number 2 okay and then we have a 3s after 3s 3p is filled now if you look according to your periodic table now it is again coming back to s so 4s1 4s2 scandium is now d so this will become a 3d1 3d2 3d3 i am not writing for this one this is an exception i'll come to this one in a while this becomes a 3d5 3d6 3d7 
3D8. I'm not writing for this one. This is an exception. And 3D10. Okay. Now, again, see, we completed the 4S and we completed the 3D. Now, what is left? Just the 4P. Mm. Fourth period, the P1 is yeah. left. 4P1, 4P2, 4P3, 4P4, 4P5, 4P6. Okay. Now, if you know the periodic table, you don't need to learn even the series. But in your exam, the teacher may ask you to write the electronic configuration of phosphorus. Now, phosphorus, what is the atomic number of phosphorus? The atomic number of phosphorus is 30.974. No, that would be the mass. The atomic number okay, is right. never in decimals. Oh, it's 15. 15. Now, you know, how will the teachers want us to write down? They would want us to write down the series. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. Add all this. Add all the numbers written in superscript out here. See, add the numbers here. Is it 15? Yes, it's 15. And is it matching with what we wrote out here? Yes, it is. Okay. So either there are two ways of doing the electronic configuration. Either learn the series and fill it. Okay. Or in the periodic table, remember how to put it. And it becomes very, very easy. So it all depends upon you. If you are good in rectification, use the rectification. If you are not good in rectification, if you are better in understanding, use your understanding. Okay. Wait, what's rectification? Rectification in India means mugging up. Okay. okay. In Hindi, ratta okay. is uh, mugging. So, I, okay. if you like learning, if you like mugging it up, then the first one line, you just need to learn that line. Okay. If you like okay. to understand and make your work easy, because you'll see out here, since all of them have a P3, they all will have a valency of 3. So, automatically, you know, if you know this, you know the periodic table, it becomes easy for you. All of them have one, 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 one. So valency out here is one. Valency out here is two. Valency out here is three. Valency out here is four. Then again, three, two, one, zero. So all P4s generally have a valency of minus two. All P5s generally have a valency of minus 1. Okay? okay? So if you want to jot this down, please do so. Yes. 